Coming up next, a rare treat, ladies and gentlemen. They've been on the road for 20 years. They have a new CD called So Where Are You Headed? Check. <laughs> they do performance poetry. It's Chris Chandler and Paul Benoit. Hello, Oregon Country Fair. As many of you know, I've lived in the Gulf Coast for about a decade or so, and my friends, I do not want to do this piece. All that you gave me was a pain in my side. I'd like to fight you, but where would I hide? I'm so sick of cleaning your mess. I hope someday that you just confess. 150 years ago, corporations were granted the same rights as citizens. It's called corporate personhood. I was against this concept for years, but Ann Feeney, I'll have to disagree with you now. I think I have changed my tune after this disaster in the Gulf of Mexico, soon to be known as the Dead Sea. I say if corporations want the same rights as citizens, they should have the same accountability as citizens. I know if my personal negligence were to cause the, the equivalent of the Exxon Valdez every seven days, I would be in prison. So I say put the entire payroll of British Petroleum in prison. How do you like your corporate personhood now? One hand in my pocket, one foot in your grave. I don't want to just see the CEO in prison. I want to see every congressional apologizer. I want to see every CEO, every CIO, every CISO, every CPA, every C3PO go to prison. I want to see every VP, every SVP, every VIP, for that matter, go to prison. Make an example of them. Like you make an example of the guy who's sitting in prison for smoking dope in his own apartments. If there's not enough room in the penitentiary system of the United States for every member of the payroll of British Petroleum, let the guy who's in there for smoking dope in his own apartment out to make room for the corporate guy. In your butt and your toes. You got a blessing from the Holy Ghost. Fill up your coffee and close the blind. It's getting harder to look outside. I want to see the writers and the actors in those BS BP ad campaigns. Beyond Petroleum, a greener oil company. I want to see those guys go to prison. Hell, I, for that matter, I envision whole gas pumps dressed in orange jumpsuits, quivering in their little British accent as a large scary man stands over them saying, insert prison joke here. I want to see every user of British Petroleum go to prison. I want to see every user of petroleum go to prison. Hell, I want to go to prison. One hand in my pocket, one foot in your brain. As we watch the coffers of British Petroleum, Transatlantic, and Halliburton dwindle as they pay not billions, but quadrillions in reparations. Hallie Barber, you can lick my dipstick. I say it's time to bill, baby, bill. Hey man, could you walk lightly? We got a lot to lose. You hold your dollar tightly when you're walking. It's hit to cheat. You need to hire every idle shrimp boat captain in Gulfport, Mississippi, and every out of work oyster fisherman in Corpus Christi, Texas, and every out of work seafood restaurant waiter in New Orleans to clean up your mess. shareholders standing on street corners and off ramps holding buckets with signs that say we'll work to pay locals for your law you drink all night and you piss in my pot keep on stealing and 
until you get caught Why are you always playing tricks on me? That's not a rabbit that you've got up your sleeve, me. You knew your oil rig was too big to fail. That's why even though you're headquartered in Houston, Texas, you chose to fly the flag of the Marshall Islands, which is basically an oil company with a flag. One hand in my pocket, one foot in your grave. But since you did choose to fly the flag of the Marshall Islands, I say it makes you a foreigner. Hey man, could you walk lightly? And I suddenly find myself we agreeing with the state things. of Arizona. And I say you, you should be supported. by a foreigner can only be viewed as an act when of foreign eco-terrorism. And the place you should be deported to is Guantanamo Bay, where you can sit in your little orange jumpsuit and be waterboarded with the water from the Gulf you destroy. Do that, please. Chris Chandler, Bob and Juan, friends.